All right, well, hello there. It is Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, and I am upstairs. I've got, um, I'm, I am going to be watching the game while I am working, but I've got everything set up here. Um, I've got everything set up downstairs for food and everything, so... I am good to go. Um, I won't miss any of the commercials that I want to miss. I will watch the game. I don't really care. <laughs> Neither one is one of my favorite teams. I don't care who wins. I will enjoy the game. Um, but this year, I'm more in for the commercials. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, I am. I don't always record on Sunday because there isn't always something to talk about, show, um, or anything like that. But I did make an eBay sale, so I'm going to show that off. Um, I do. Uh, I did get three payments in so far for invoices sent out, so I am going to get those done. Um, I will be spending most of the day just packing and invoicing. And again, if anything interesting happens, hey, I'm going to grab my uh, phone and record. Um, but I'm going to switch the camera here and show you that um, I have this blouse, Don Kenny Classic. I think it was a classic um, several years ago. It's a really cool retro uh, kind of shirt. It's a size large. And um, I, I am running a sale. I'm going to try to do that a little more often until I can get kind of things up and listing. But I am running a sale. And I did get an offer on this top. And so I did accept that offer. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the label um, and get that out. I just have to throw it into an envelope. And, um, and then, yeah, and then I am up here just um, working away and enjoying the Super Bowl today. So I hope you are having a great Sunday. I am going to add um, Monday's goodies onto this also. Uh, so this is going to be kind of going from Sunday into Monday. Um, but yeah, again, something else happens. I'm going to grab this otherwise. Um, next segment you see will probably be on Monday. All right, well, it is about three o'clock in the afternoon, and I came downstairs to grab a couple more items that have sold after the sale. I should have turned the light on. Hang on a sec. There we go. <laughs> Let's get the light on in here. All right, I camera around. Uh, these were from the Saturday night sale. Um, this pair of bookends really nice set and the birds yeah these are so cool great detailing on those and uh, yeah so both of those items have sold and um, those back upstairs with me as we are about less than half an hour away from the start of the super bowl and <laughs> i am still just Nicely watching, watching t the TV, watching the ads, and um, and uh, yeah, packing and invoicing today. Um, all right, anything else exciting happens? I will grab my camera and I will let you know. All right, well, hello. It is Monday, February twelfth, and it is a little after two thirty in the afternoon. Uh, which means at 3 o'clock, I will be starting the evening sale with Jen. Yes, the morning sale has wrapped up, and we'll be getting to that. I'll be doing kind of a summary of both sales after the sale. Uh, but I wanted to get um, a shot of the mail that was going out today. Uh, let me turn this. Up. At some point, the mail carrier is going to be coming probably during the live sale. And I want to make sure I get a little shot here of what's going out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packages that are going out the door. Nope, 15. That's right, I've got one back here. So 15 packages are heading out today. I have about eight 
I think eight of them uh, in my holding area. Um, let me... All right, so that is what's heading out. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a busy busy morning around here today. <laughs> Um, but I am going to go now finish getting uh, set up for the sale tonight and I will see you again after the sale. All right. Well, it is almost 630. Uh, Jen and I have wrapped up the Monday evening sale. I have got the morning sale all organized and over here the evening sale all organized so we're going to talk about it i did not do a good job of getting my hair up here um i do have my dinner heating up in the air fryer so if you hear background humming that's what it is and at some point we'll hear a ding but that's okay um so um oh i also want to mention i went out briefly today and, oh, I forgot to turn on. I had turned it off because sometimes the morning commute um, out will set off my camera a little too much. So I'll usually turn it off and then I'll turn it back on after the morning commute is done. Headlights and everything kind of, kind of mess with it. <sighs> I forgot to today. Somehow I missed the mail carrier. I did not hear my doorbell. I didn't hear either doorbell ring. And I just can't imagine the, the time I was out was like at one o'clock, which doesn't make any sense on a Monday for the mail carrier to be at my house that early, but I, they might have. But yeah, so apologies to everyone that your mail did not go out today. I will make sure it goes out tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll make it happen tomorrow. <sighs> Darn it. Just when everything was going well again. Ugh. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about Flip this over the morning sale. Um, so I had jewelry mostly for the morning sale and I brought 45 items uh, 24 of them sold but 21 are still available so let's go ahead and go over those um, and we're gonna start with this unusual item this is a very old brooch let me flip that over really really old brooch um, it doesn't have a head, <laughs> but could be really cool for crafting purposes. Uh, the brooch is, you know what? I'm going to give numbers today also just to be on the safe side in case somebody wants something. Uh, that is $1 number two. Then I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is a necklace. It is a 19 inch gold tone necklace. That is $1 number three. I have these really pretty silver tone earrings with the flowers on them. They are a hook style. They are $1 number five. And then these silver tone ones it, with beautiful trees, uh, not no roots. So not quite the tree of life, but very close. $1 number six. Uh, these are clip-on earrings. They say Arizona on them, and I'm wondering if that's like the Arizona Jeans Company. Um, really cute little silver tone clip-on hearts. And those are $1 number eight. I've got this shell necklace with the barrel clasp. Uh, that is a 16-inch necklace, and it is $1 number nine. Uh, this ring right here, kind of in a V shape with a little blue piece. I don't think that is stone, um, but you know what? I haven't tested it. I should have tested it. I ran out of time. Uh, it is a size five and a quarter. It's a small one. Five and a quarter, $1, number 11. 
And then this one has, oops, like two little crescent moons on the sides. Uh, that one is a size seven, and it is one dollar number 12. The pink, this is pink quartz with a crescent moon 20 inch necklace. This is one dollar number 13. And the black, some kind of a stone. It's a very shiny stone. It's really pretty. Uh, silver tone crescent moon 20 inch necklace. That is one dollar number 14. Uh, these gold tone earrings with a kind of a, a hinge back on them. They have like these little disco balls. Uh, let's see, those are $1, nope, those are $2, number 19, $2, number 19, and then we have this pretty gold tone bracelet. Uh, it is kind of adjustable. You can vary the sizes from seven and a half to eight and a half. That is $2, number 20. A, a watch that's gonna need a new battery with butterflies and it's got butterflies on the stretchy band so the band does stretch uh, the butterfly watch is two dollars number 21 this is a really pretty green rhinestone ring it does say 2023 20, on it this is $1, uh, number 25, and it is a size 6. $1, number 25. And then the purple earrings, really pretty purple hearts. They are a post. And those are $3, number 29. The brass cuff with a little copper accent on it. Uh, that one is $3, number 30. Then um, these three rings have little stone chips. So these are actual stones. There's just little chips in resin. They are adjustable rings, but I'll tell you the size of them. Uh, this one is a size seven and a half, and it is $4, number 32. This one, probably like a rose quartz in a rose-colored um, resin, size a six and a half, adjustable six and a half, four dollars, number 33. And then this lovely multicolored one with pink and green. This is a size seven and a half, adjustable, seven and a half and it is four dollars number 37. all right then these ones are actual stones i'll show you the little design on the side this one is black it is a size five and a half it is five dollars number 41 and then this one is green and it has little hearts on the side this one is a size 10, and it is $5, number 43. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the items that sold. I had a few cosmetic bags and some earrings, necklaces, ooh, a ring. <laughs> Some more rings over here, a bracelet, a couple more bracelets, and then a couple of necklaces. All right, um, so we're going to go over to the other table and we're going to talk about the evening sale. Oops, hang on. Before we go over to the evening sale, I forgot to mention an item that sold from the Saturday night sale. So this really cute little glass pedestal bowl. Um, so that one sold after the sale. All right, now 
we're gonna head over and talk about the evening sale all right so uh for the evening sale we bring 15 items i actually brought one that was choice no two two that were choice so that brought my count up to 18 items I sold 11 of the 18 items, which means seven items are still available. Switch the camera around, and we are gonna talk about those seven items that are available. Uh, this is so cute. Look at this, somebody did a little cross stitch embroidery that says, shh, baby's napping, and we have a sleeping bunny. And then when you flip it over, it says, I'm awake now. Now the handle here, oops, needs to be reattached, hot glue or sewn on. Uh, but that cute little uh, piece is $6. Uh, this beautiful brush, gold tone, it is in fantastic condition because I'm not sure this was really ever used. Um, when you look at the, um, the base here that is in really nice really clean condition so i'm not sure this brush was ever used isn't that a gorgeous design with the flowers uh this brush is eight dollars uh, then we have some limoges plates these are Oops, Haviland Limoges, made in France. You are going to get the pair of plates, and they are $10. Uh, this is a really fun Key West plate, little bowl, little shallow bowl. We've got a pineapple, and we've got a dragonfly. It is marked on the back by the artist. And that is $8. Um, this adorable uh, little like trinket box with the hat, oops, and the cattail, ooh, cattail handle, because look at these little accessory pieces. We have a little straw hat, teapot, a little kitten in a creamer. This one's getting in the sugar dish. And then we have two cups. This is such a cute little set. Uh, that is $10 for the set. And then I have a set of Limoges bowls. This is uh, by Theodore Haviland, France. So the set of four Limoges bowls, they are all the same pattern. Uh, those are $16. And then I have this uh, brass airplane. It is a music box. You just turn, ooh, turn the propeller and it will start playing Fly Me to the Moon. Maybe. Try not to do it too much, but just enough. <laughs> All right, so those are the seven items that are available after this uh well yeah after the sale yeah that counts isn't that one so cute oh my gosh i can't get over how cute that is all right so we'll take a look at the items that sold i had these um beautiful bowls with roses in the center and these gorgeous plates with the butterflies. Um, these two lovely floral plates. And the Royal Dalton Brambley, Brambley Hedge. That's it. A um, Whiting and Davis Gold Mesh Handbag. And this one, yep, this was a great um, coin set from the Virginia when that came out in 2000. And you get the little pewter ship 
and an uncirculated coin. All right, so those are the 11 items that sold. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it just looks like spring and summer, like winter is over. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> All right, go around. Okay, I am now going to take some time and take the items that sold. Uh, those are going to go upstairs. The unsold items, well, they're going to be down here. I'll see how much room I have in the Harry Potter closet, but I like to keep them available so in case they do sell after the sale, I can quickly get them. Um, yeah, and the jewelry, I do like to bag those up together by person, so they're nice and handy. I have some of the items ready for tomorrow. I'll get the rest of the items for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's sale's going to be kind of right on time because the friend selling with friends sale is tomorrow also. And so I want to make sure I am done at the right time to send everybody over to the friend selling with friends sale. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to still trying to map out um, how how many items I am bringing, but I will get that all figured out tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have time for any packing or invoicing tonight. We'll see. We'll see if I do. Um, but that's typically if I can if I can squeeze in a little time to do that, I will. Um, but otherwise, I think that is going to wrap up the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.